Ladies and gents, welcome to the reaction. This is what is dark matter and dark energy. Well, channel because we are in a nutshell. What is dark energy? What is dark matter? Well, if we knew exactly, we would have a Nobel Prize. Yeah, <laughs> we know that they exist, though. So, what do we know about these strange things? Yes, is anybody who figures out dark matter, dark energy, that's yeah, he should have ten Nobel Prize at once, I guess. But yeah, that's not how things works. But yeah, dark matter and dark energy. Basically, we don't know nothing. Literally nothing, right? Dark matter, I mean, uh, we know that, you know, there is a, a, a thing, it's not a matter, right? It's, it's nothing, right? It's more like, uh, more like a force of some kind, right? So we know there is such thing as uh, dark matter, uh, which doesn't even interact with itself, right? I mean, we can detect it at, you know, larger scales, basically, but dark matter is basically everywhere right uh, even around us right now but we can't measure it at that small scale so you know at the larger scale we can see dark matter and its effect but dark matter doesn't interact with any normal matter it doesn't even interact with itself dark energy we know even less than that right like you know in big big space like you know uh, you know interstellar space no intergalactic space right interstellar space in intergalactic space there is a force that basically pushes thing away right everybody thought that all the galaxies and everything is gonna one day stop expanding and collapse basically but then they realized that okay wait a minute the light coming from the distance ha has some red shifting right basically which means that space is stretching and expanding rather than collapsing back so we realize that at the even larger scale, this thing is dark, dark energy, which is pushing things apart and stretching the space. Now, we know nothing about this. This might well, you know, very well be a different property of uh, you know uh, how the space reacts when it comes to dark energy. Dark matter could be just different property of gravity, I guess. We know nothing. Maybe there's certain entire different type of matter that we we didn't even thought of. We, we couldn't even imagine, and but it's there. All the normal matter that we know of is very little compared to that. So, I don't know. So, let's watch this one. Remember, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the reaction. There's a link in the description. Check out the castle. Please check out the in-cars in here. Let's watch it. Matter as we know it. Atoms, stars and galaxies. Planets and trees. Rocks and us. This matter accounts for less than 5% of the known universe. About 25% is dark matter and 70% dark energy, both of which are invisible. This is kind of strange because it suggests that everything we experience is really only a tiny fraction of reality. But it gets worse. We really have no clue what dark matter and... Yeah, that's the case if it's matter, right? If it's just another property of space that we observe, then that's not the case. And ...energy are or how they work. We are pretty sure they exist, though. So, what do we know? Dark matter is the stuff that makes it possible for galaxies to exist. When we calculated why the universe is structured the way it is, it quickly became clear that there's just not enough normal matter. The gravity of the visible matter is not strong enough to form galaxies and complex structures. Stars would more likely be scattered all over the place and not form galaxies. So we know there is something else inside and around them. Something that doesn't emit or reflect light. Something dark. But, but Or maybe another property of gravity that we just haven't figured it out yet. Besides being able to calculate the existence of dark matter, we can see it, kind of. Places with a high concentration of dark matter bend light passing nearby, so we know there's something there that interacts with gravity. Right now, we have more ideas about what dark energy is not than what it is. We know dark matter is not just clouds of normal matter without stars because it would emit particles we could detect. Dark matter is not antimatter because antimatter produces unique gamma rays when it reacts with normal matter. Dark matter is also not made up of black holes, very compact objects that violently affect their surroundings, while dark matter seems to be scattered all over the place. Basically, we only know three things for sure. One, something is out there. Two, it interacts with gravity. 
Three, there is a lot of it. Yeah. Dark matter is probably made up of a complicated exotic particle that doesn't interact with light and matter in a way we expect, but right now, we just don't know. Dark energy is even more strange and mysterious. We can't detect. Yeah, so dark matter basically doesn't interact with the normal matter the way we basically think of. It doesn't even interact with itself like that. Like there are no dark matter planets, dark matter stars or things like that. It doesn't even interact with itself. Detect it, we can't measure it, and we can't taste it. But we do see its effects very clearly. In 1929, Edwin Hubble examined how the wavelength of light emitted by distant galaxies shifts towards the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum yeah, as it travels shifting. through space. He found that fainter, more distant galaxies showed a large degree of redshift. Closer galaxies, not so much. Hubble determined that this was because the universe itself is expanding. The redshift occurs because the wavelengths of light are stretched yeah. as the universe expands. More recent discoveries have shown that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. Before that, it was thought that the pull of gravity would cause the expansion to either slow down or even retract and collapse in on itself at some point. Space doesn't change its properties as it expands. There's just more of it. New space is constantly created everywhere. Galaxies are tight-bound clusters of stuff held together by gravity, so we don't experience this expansion in our daily lives, but we see it everywhere around us. Wherever there is empty space in the universe, more is forming every second. Or maybe it's not more, it's literally stretching. And at certain points, it must stretch and cause basically rips in the space that basically detaches different part of the universe. So it's not part of one thing. Like, you know, you could create massive rips between things because of the stretching and rips apart basically a section of the uh, space, which is now inaccessible to somebody else because now there's a gap between two space. So dark energy seems to be some kind of energy intrinsic to empty space. Energy that is stronger than anything else we know and that keeps getting stronger as time passes by. Empty space has more energy than everything else in the universe combined. We have multiple ideas about what dark energy might be. One idea is that dark energy is not a thing, but just a property of space. Yeah. Empty space is not nothing. It has its own energy. It can generate more space and is quite active. <laughs> so every thing that we found in the universe follow somewhat laws of physics that we know of, right? We can uh, predict something and expect something. But when it comes to dark matter and dark energy, that's not the case at all. That is nothing that feels familiar. So I feel like rather than being something, it's probably going to be some property of space that we haven't figured it out yet. Some kind of modification in our laws, you know, laws of physics. That will basically, everything will make sense again. So, as the universe expands, it could be that just more and more space appears to fill the gaps, and this leads to a faster, expanding universe. This idea is close to an idea that Einstein had back in 1917 of a concept of a cosmological constant, a force that counteracted the force of gravity. The only problem is that when we tried to calculate the amount of this energy, the result was so wrong and weird that it only added to the confusion. Another idea is that empty space is actually full of temporary virtual particles that spontaneously and continually form from nothing and then disappear. Okay, I remember uh, Brian Greene talking about uh, properties of uh, gravity at the larger scale. It's not just always about pulling in. Property of gravity can also push things apart at the larger scales. That was string theory tells us. So it could be just another property of gravity that we measure as dark energy into nothing again. The energy from those particles could be dark energy. Or maybe dark energy is an unknown kind of dynamic energy fluid or field which permeates the entire universe but somehow has the opposite effect on the universe than normal energy and matter. But if it exists, we don't know how and where or how we could detect it. So there are still a lot of questions to answer. Our theories about dark matter and dark energy are still just... Yeah, so, you know, we don't even know where to begin, basically. But we have certain ideas that we could try out, like create certain type of conditions like that to recreate 
like you know uh, can we create something like that in particle accelerator something like dark energy dark matter or effects like that by recreating something like that so but for that we require immense level of energy we need a particle accelerator uh, the size of i guess diameter of the moon or even bigger than that so you know we need immense energy for you know things like this experiment like this to test these theories out that people have basically that even string theorists have right now so you know string theorists are coming up with lots of things but they are all just that right just theories uh, putting to putting that to test is really hard because that would require a massive massive particle accelerator but one day when we build something like that you know in space massive particle accelerator and we try to recreate certain scenarios like this we might start to figure out what is dark and dark matter but i feel like that's way far in the future right nobody's going to fund a massive particle accelerator like that in the space right now is that theories on the one hand this is kind of frustrating on the other hand this is frontier science making it very exciting it shows us that no matter how much we feel we're on top of things, we're still very much apes with smartphones on a tiny fragile island in space, looking into the sky, wondering how our universe works. There is so much left to learn, and that is awesome. This video is supported yeah. by the Australian The more we gain knowledge, the more we realize that even more than that, we don't know of it. So, yeah. One day we will probably figure this out. I feel like that's one day is going to be far in the future just because of the cost of things, right? Particle accelerators are the answer, but we require massive particle accelerator for something like this. So yeah. All right, people, that was What is Dark Matter and Dark Energy by the channel Kuskus in a nutshell. If you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the weeks on this is the link in the description. Check out the cards over play. Check out the end cards and I'll see you next time.